Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie Ina. Today I'm gonna to be talking about a new foundation that just hit the market. This is a brand that is not new, but you might wanna be checking for it. It is a brand by Danessa Myricks. She came out with the Vision Cream Cover Foundations. Danessa Myricks is literally one of the most brilliant makeup artists on Instagram. Not just on Instagram, just in life in general. Some of you guys may have seen me feature some of her in light powders on some a few videos back, and she's got a couple other products, but I'm the most excited about complexion products. Because Danessa is not only black, but she is a makeup artist, so she knows how to formulate for my skin tone and for my skin concern. So the first color that I have is W6, and I'm gonna swatch all four of the shades that I think may be my color, and even some that I know are far off, just so that you can see how diverse this line is. So this is W6, which is pretty rich for my skin tone, even on my hand. I never usually swatch on my hand. W5, W I'm assuming stands for warm, by the way. When I swatched these, W5 felt like the closest match. It's very yellow, so I'm going to go in with that, but let me show you the other colors. Also notice that the colors don't necessarily translate, so I notice a W5 is a lot lighter than what the N5 looked like. Or wait a minute, I think it might be the other way around. I don't remember. This is N9, which is a pretty rich and very neutral shade. And then this last one, which I think I'm gonna try to get a little contoury with, is W10 which is her darkest color from what I've discovered in the entire lineup. It's very rare that I go to a foundation in a brand and I'm able to find this many varying shades of each other. It's either my shade or it's too red. There's no in between, nothing else. And it's rare I get something that's darker than me, like something I can actually contour with. Before we get started, if you like reviews, tutorials, and a little bit of shade throwing, please be sure to subscribe right down there in the button down below. I'm gonna be waiting and I will be coming for you if you don't. Now that we have our shade selection, I'm gonna take W5. Let's put W10 in our little later pile and W5 for our now pile. I have a meeting today, so I'm really taking quite a big risk because I don't usually go with products that I don't trust on, st on days like this, but you know what? In the spirit of why not, I'm just gonna try this out and see how I like it today. I primed my skin with the NARS Pore and Shine Primer. I did reach out to Danessa and I asked her, is it water-based, is it silicone-based? Like, give me some guidance on what type of primer I should use. She said you can pretty much have your way with any type of primer. It's good for oily skin, it's good for dry skin. She said it was a hybrid cream blend of silicone, wax, and vitamin E, which makes it ideal for any type of primer. Don't know if I mentioned before, but my skin type is oily. Pretty yellow. Here's W5 swatch on this side, and here's N, N8 swatch on this side. My heart is telling me that this is not warm enough, and then my heart's telling me this is too warm. So let's just blend them out and see both sides. Oh, the blend is amazing. Oh, wow. Wow. That little tiny bit blended out like it spread really, really good. I'm getting like a cream to powder feel. I'm just, wow, I was expecting this to give me like my chin area, but that spread really good, wow, wow. Okay, so now we know that this is full coverage. And this is the neutral one. So this is definitely too neutral for me. I definitely feel like this side, the W side may be more workable. So I'm gonna wipe this off and do the whole face in W. Somehow, if I could just get a mixture between these two, it would be perfect. So she was definitely right about this being like a pure color concentrate. And that's why, that could be the reason why I'm seeing so much pigment. I know I look really yellow right now, but it's cool. I'm gonna fix it. It's cool. If you were looking for something full coverage, this is going to give you full on coverage. It looks way more yellow in, on camera, by the way. It's really not this yellow in person. And I have big, bright studio lights. They're just so dramatic. So dramatica. I'm gonna specify this very clear for the people that I know. I just gonna go straight to the comments without listening and watching the video. Foundations that are this yellow on me tend to adjust and they tend to actually be very workable. So although it looks very obviously yellow on camera, 
I'm not necessarily off put by it because I know that my skin tone will adjust to it. I'm very, very, very warm. My, my undertones are very warm. First initial impressions is I'm very impressed, extremely impressed with the amount of coverage I got just from the little tiny bit that I swatched. Coverage is insane. I think this looks absolutely beautiful. Let me go ahead and get the rest of my face together just so that I can add more commentary when it all comes together. Okay, so here's the final face. I'm getting very Kat Von D Locket Tattoo meets Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation vibes from this entire look. And I mean that in a good way. It kind of has like that cream to powder finish, kind of feels like a gel, not really as liquidy as other foundations. That's exactly what I got from this. And the coverage is, like I said, top notch. I did manage to do a pretty good job at like, I didn't feel like I had to fix this foundation. I didn't really have to work too hard. I just did my normal routine as usual. I usually set it with like a translucent powder. I did that today. And then on top of it, I put a little bit of Iman face powder and it looks like my skin tone. It looks a lot more balanced. It looks a lot less like gold, 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 gold. I've got my vlogging camera. I'm probably gonna be vlogging and giving you guys a little bit of an update maybe in like a couple of hours or so, but I really gotta go because I'm already late. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I didn't vlog, but I'm back and I got, I think, a considerable amount of wear in this foundation. It is now 4.04. For those of you that don't understand military time, that means 4 p.m. I haven't blotted once at all. Actually, let me bring you in closer. Let's talk about receipts. I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer. So I always forget that this lens doesn't zoom in very far, but hopefully you can see. So I'm getting a little bit of shine right in this area as I usually do and in my T-zone, but honestly, like, I can afford to not blot. I think it looks beautiful. It didn't appear to have broken up too much along my smile lines. That also tends to be a problem area for me, but it doesn't look too bad. I would definitely call this matte. No, just kidding. It's definitely more on the matte side. The shade adjusted really, really nice. One thing I also forgot to mention earlier is this is exactly what the Hourglass um, what is that damn stick called? The Vanish Stick Foundation? That one. This is exactly what Golden Almond looks like on my skin tone. Even though the foundation initially looked alarmingly yellow on my skin, once I put everything on, it kind of just comes together. And then even compared to my chest, I think it looks popping. I think it looks really good. This is probably one of the best foundation matches that I've come across in a long time. There's only like two or three and sometimes i can go a little bit more neutrals but i can go really really golden this kind of did that for me i still stand by what it said and that it reminds me a lot of the cat Von du locket tattoo foundation and it also kind of gives me the urban decay all nighter vibes so kind of somewhere in that formula high high coverage it's got a gel feel it has a in my opinion cream to powdery kind of finish and it's very long wearing. I would probably get more, this is probably something I would say for like events and like nighttime stuff. I feel like it's a little bit, it's just a lot to wear during the day. And I do agree with the claim that it is a pure color concentrate. This is probably as concentrated as it gets. Meaning again, if you are looking for coverage, you are 100% going to get it here. I'm also gonna play around next time I wear it with the amounts that I use. I kind of feel like I didn't expect it to be as pigmented as it was. I added a teensy bit more and I almost kind of feel like you can just get away with doing like two pumps for the full face. Like I really want to play around with different amounts and see how I like it. It's just really nice to see a brown girl out here killing it with this new line of foundations. This is probably, I don't think we've had like a black owned foundation line in a long time. That's this mainstream and that's this full across the board, like in my opinion, versatile for every skin tone and skin type. And I will definitely, definitely be using it in future looks and future tutorials. And I will link them down below. I don't have a coupon code or anything like that. And it's only available on Danessa's website, danessamyricksbeauty.com. $23, I think it retails for, let me go check. $28, you get 0.53 fluid ounces and it is, a pretty, I, I like the size of the bottle. I mean, $28 for the size is a little steep, but I'm assuming because it's a pure color concentrate and you have to use very, very, very little, it probably will give you, you probably will get your money's worth. It'll probably stretch you for a long time. I tend to look at the glass half full. By the way, side note, Danessa also curated and helped 
to create all of the new Benefit brow products. If you did not know that, it's just a little side note. So I have confidence in knowing that I'm supporting someone who's not only a freaking amazing artist, but like she knows a ton about complexion. She's very talented. And I have absolutely no doubt that you guys will really, really dig the shade range. Only thing is it appears to be an online only launch. So, you know, the trials and tribulations that comes with that. One thing that I also realized is these come in like corrector shades. And I noticed, which is something I rarely see, she has an olive corrector. She also had a peach corrector and then she had a deep orange corrector. So there's not only the foundation that you can buy, but there's like fixers and kind of adjusters for the other line. Anyway, let me know if you've tried anything from Danessa Myricks' line or if you look forward to trying this. I really hope you guys found this review helpful. Hopefully I covered all of your questions. And if you have not subscribed, please be sure to do so on your way out so you don't miss future fabulous reviews just like this one. Hopefully I'll see you on my next video, which I'll just, you know, casually just write in this area. Go ahead, click away, enjoy, and um, subscribe. Subscribe. As for the video, you know, just do your thing. I'm just going to wait here and um, let you do what it do. All right.